Welcome back to my channel. Today is the night of the Conor McGregor fight, so I'm wearing my UFC shirt with my name on it to celebrate. I'm a huge Conor McGregor fan, so let's go, Conor. Do I like Conor McGregor? This is my workout room. Yeah, you can say so. There's only one Conor McGregor, and there's the fight or better. Uh, today we're going to make something from Greg Doucette's 2.0 anabolic cookbook. We're going to make his anabolic meat lasagna. So this is going to be the, probably the most detailed recipe I'm going to make. It's a lot of, lot of ingredients, but it's pretty easy and it's, hopefully it's going to be pretty good. So here's all the things we're going to need. We are going to need some fat-free cheese. You need some aluminum foil to wrap it. You're going to need some ricotta cheese. You wanted to get low fat. They didn't have low fat, so I just got regular. You're going to need uh, an onion, you're going to need some minced garlic, some frozen spinach, uh, I think, let's see, you're going to need 500 grams of it, so it's about two of these. You can get some uh, ground turkey, I got 99% fat free for the lowest calories. You can also get um, lean ground beef if you like that better. Get some low calorie pasta sauce, I just got the basic. Um, you're going to need four cups total, so it's about two of these. And this is kind of the special thing. These are I had to order. These are low-carb lasagna noodles, and this is kind of the key to make it low-calorie. Okay, first thing you want to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I've already done that. Okay, first thing you need to do is you're going to need 125 grams of chopped onion. And as you can see, I did 125 grams on a scale here. Now it's, there you go. And with the 125 grams of onion, we are also going to add, add two teaspoons of minced garlic. So I got the minced garlic here, and we're going to add two teaspoons of it. There's one, and there's two, and now we're going to saute this in a pan. Okay, we're just gonna, so what I did is I took the onion and the garlic and we're gonna saute it in a pan on high. I sprayed it with the nonstick, of course, and we're just gonna wait until this gets brown. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's all browned with the garlic. And the next step we're gonna do is we're just gonna transfer it to a large bowl, like it says in the recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And next we're gonna use that same pan and we're going to make the ground turkey or the ground beef, whichever one you want. So, we're going to spray the pan again. And now that we have the ground turkey ready, we're just going to put it in the same bowl that we did with the onions, onion and the garlic. It's all going to go in the same bowl here. We're going to... Okay, and then we are going to add... So now we're going to add four cups of the pasta sauce. And so this is a two cup measuring. So we're going to do two of these. Now while we're doing this, we're waiting for the water to boil because we're going to boil these for five minutes. Um, both of these have water in it, so we're going to take off the lids and we're going to drain the water out of them first. So we're going to look like this after drain. And we've got a boiling water over here. We're going to put these in the boiling water for five minutes. We, got a tra we transferred this over to a bigger bowl because this is more noodles than we thought. So we're going to just have them cook in the boiling water here for five minutes. So we have uh, measured out 500 grams of the frozen spinach. We let it thaw out for a little bit. And we're going to put it in the in the blender here. So now we're going to add 500 grams of the ricotta cheese here. So we're going to measure it out here. Now the 
the beeper, the five minutes of the of the um, lasagna noodles are ready, so we're just gonna put it in the strainer here. Okay, now we have the noodles already drained and cooked for five minutes here. We have the sauce with the onions and the ground turkey, and we have the pan. We have the cottage cheese and the spinach all mixed up together, so now we're ready to go. So first thing we wanna do is take a, a big pan right here, and we're gonna spray it with nonstick real quick. Now we're going to take a quarter cup of the sauce here and just put it at the bottom here and we're just going to move it around just so things don't stick. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to layer. We're going to do four, four times three. So the first layer it's going to be four noodles, one, two, three, four. So this is what the first layer is going to look like. It's just going to be all noodles. We're going to do four, three rows of four. Next, we're going to do the spinach and cottage cheese. We're going to do half of the mixture here. So we're going to take half of it, pour it on here like this. Now, the one thing that he has in here that I don't, because I don't like it, it's zucchini. Zucchini's nasty, so I'm not having zucchini. This is how I feel about zucchini. Get that thing away from me! So the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take a third of this and you're gonna layer it on here. So this is what the first layer is gonna look like. And now we're gonna repeat the second layer. out 152 grams of the fat-free cheese and now we're gonna sp sprinkle that on top here so now we're gonna spray the sheet of aluminum foil we're gonna cover it We're going to put it in the oven for 40 minutes. This is why most people don't cook lasagna. Look at how many dishes there are. There are a ton of dishes and this is all for cleanup. 
But overall, it's going to be worth it. But right now, whew, that's a lot of dishes, let me tell you. So we put it in there for 40 minutes and then took the, the top off for 20. So a total of 60 in my oven. And this is what it's going to look like. And we're going to let it cool for 20 minutes before we eat it. And then we'll give it a taste test. So we're going to cut it in six slices. I already did here. This is six slices. And let me tell you how many calories are in each slice of this. It's going to be a little less than this because we didn't use the... the t -t Today, Junior! It's going to be a little less than this because we didn't use the zucchini. But each slice is going to have 340 calories, 10 grams of fat, 25 carbs, 5 grams of fiber, and 30 grams of protein. So now let's give it a taste test. So that's, we got to give it a review, but you also got to keep in mind this is a healthy version. So it's going to, might have a different texture. So I'm going to compare it to like a healthy, I'm not going to compare it to regular lasagna, of course. So let me try it. It's really good. It's, um, how to explain it. It's got the same texture as regular lasagna. It's not as, um, how to explain it. Let me try another piece. Oh yeah, that had more cheese in it. That's really good. Yeah, it's pretty close to regular lasagna. Tastes really good. Texture is good. Overall, it's a really good recipe. If you like lasagna and want to make it healthier, this is a good choice. You try another bite here. And that is really good. I like that, yeah. Definitely give it a thumbs up for Greg. Very good. If you like lasagna and you want to make it healthier, this is a very good choice. Good job, Greg. I like it. And I'm going to keep eating it. If you're watching this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notifications when I make a new video. Thank you for watching my video. This is Scott Saka reminding you to never stop improving yourself in everything you do. What's up? I'm gonna film. I'm gonna film Ernest going. Hey. hey. Well, shake it up, baby. Shake it.